savvy. It's your girl Kiki, back with another sassy adventure. Today we're diving deep into the hidden gems of Tulum, Mexico. And honey, when I say deep, I mean places so secret, even your ex's finsta won't know about them. Forget those basic beaches and overcrowded cenotes, we're going rogue. We're talking about the kind of places that'll make you feel like you're in your own personal episode of Travel Channel After Dark. Adventurous, breathtaking, and maybe just a little bit scandalous. So grab your tequila shots, slather on that sunscreen, and get ready to explore Tulum like a true Kiki-approved baller. Trust me, you won't want to miss this. First up, we're kicking things off with a bang. Or should I say a splash? Calavera Cenote, also known as the Skull Sinkhole, is not for the faint of heart. But if you love a good adrenaline rush with Instagram-worthy scenery, this is your jam. Peep this crystal clear water, sunlight filtering through the jungle canopy. The three openings to this cenote do kinda look like a skull. Now the real reason we're here, the jump, 13 feet, straight down into the cool, inviting water. It's enough to make your heart skip a beat, but trust me, it's worth it. Once you're in, it's like entering another world. All right, my little adventurers. After that heart-stopping plunge, it's time for something a little more low-key, but still totally fabulous. I'm talking about Cenote Escondido, which literally translates to Hidden Cenote. And trust me, it lives up to its name. This secluded oasis is just a quick 10-minute drive from Tulum, but it feels like a world away from the hustle and bustle. To get there, you have to hike through a short but scenic jungle trail, so make sure you're wearing decent shoes, or at least shoes that won't get eaten by the jungle. We're going for chic explorer, not damsel in distress. Now, Cenote Escondido might not have the death-defying jumps of Calavera, but it's got its own charm. For starters, it's way more chill and less crowded, so you can actually hear the birds chirping and the leaves rustling. You know, nature and all that jazz. The water here is just as clear and refreshing, and there's even a rope swing for those who still need a little adrenaline fix. Now my little water nymphs, are you ready for a cenote that's bluer than my ex's balls after I dumped him? Then get ready for Cenote Azul, because honey, this place is the real deal. Located about 30 minutes from Tulum, Cenote Azul is like the Beyonce of cenotes. Stunning, iconic, and always a good time. As soon as you lay eyes on that bright blue water, you'll understand why this place is so popular. It's like Mother Nature decided to create her own swimming pool, and she did not come to play. Now, Cenote Azul might not be as hidden as some of the other spots on our list, but trust me, it's worth braving the crowds. The water is crystal clear and perfect for swimming, snorkeling, or just floating around and pretending you're in a shampoo commercial. And speaking of hair flips, the jungle surrounding the cenote is the perfect backdrop for all your envy-inducing vacation pics. We're talking lush greenery, exotic birds, and maybe even a monkey or two if you're lucky. Or unlucky, depending on how you feel about monkeys. But the real star of the show here is the water. All right, all right, my eco-conscious fiends. It's time to ditch the cocktails and put on our explorer hats because we're heading into the wild side of Tulum, the Cien Khan Biosphere Reserve. Now, before you start picturing me wrestling crocodiles and fighting off mosquitoes the size of my head, let me assure you, this place is way more glamorous than it sounds. First of all, we're talking about a UNESCO World Heritage Site, baby. That means it's officially fancy and important. Cien Ka'an is a massive protected area south of Tulum, covering everything from lush jungles and mangroves to pristine beaches and sparkling lagoons. It's basically a nature lover's paradise, and a great place to pretend you're on a luxury safari without all the, you know, actual danger. Speaking of luxury, the best way to experience Cien Ka'an is by boat. There are tons of tours that will take you through the lagoons, pointing out all the amazing wildlife like dolphins, manatees, and even crocodiles. From a safe distance, of course. And if you're really lucky, you might even spot a jaguar lurking in the jungle. Just try not to scream and scare it away, okay? Time for my history buffs and wannabe Lara Crofts. Get ready to channel your inner explorer because we're about to get our Indiana Jones on at the Muyil Ruins. Now I know what you're thinking. Kiki, not another Mayan ruin site. But trust me, this one's different. First of all, Muyil is way less crowded than those other basic ruins everyone and their mother goes to. 
We're talking peace, quiet, and maybe even a little bit of mystery. It's the perfect place to wander around, snap some epic photos, and pretend you're discovering a lost city for the first time. But don't let the tranquility fool you, darling. Muyil is still packed with history and intrigue. These ruins date back to the pre-classic Maya period, which means they're old. Like, really old. We're talking centuries of history just waiting to be uncovered. And by uncovered, I mean Instagrammed, obviously. The main attraction at Muyil is El Castillo, a towering pyramid that offers stunning views of the surrounding jungle. It's a bit of a climb to the top, but trust me, the view is worth it. Plus, it's a great workout, and you know how much I love a good thigh burn. But the real hidden gem of Muyil is the Sakbe, or ancient Mayan road, that leads through the jungle to a lagoon. Now hold on to your berets, my little artsiest babes, because we're about to dive into a world where creativity runs wilder than my dating life after one too many margaritas. Azulik, a uh, May. This ain't your mama's stuffy museum, honey. This is an immersive, interactive art experience nestled right in the heart of the jungle. Located about 30 minutes from Tulum, Azulik Ume is like stepping into another dimension, one where contemporary art collides with the raw beauty of nature. Think winding pathways that snake through the trees, leading you to hidden installations, sculptures that look like they sprouted straight from the jungle floor, and mind-bending exhibits that'll have you questioning everything you thought you knew about art, and maybe even reality itself. And the best part? You can actually touch the art. That's right, my little rebels. No velvet ropes or stuffy guards here. Azulik a May encourages you to interact with the art, to climb on it, crawl through it, and even become a part of it. It's the perfect place to unleash your inner child, snap some seriously artsy photos for the gram, and maybe even impress that cute art student you've been eyeing with your vast knowledge of, uh, the shape of anatomy. But Azulik Ame isn't just about the art, darling. It's about the entire experience. All right, my fellow gods and goddesses, after all that art and culture, it's time to treat ourselves to a little pampering, and no, I'm not talking about another round of tequila shots. Although, those are always a good idea. I'm talking about Laguna de Khan Luum, a hidden lagoon that's practically calling out for us to come and get our zen on. Now, Laguna de Khan Luum isn't your typical beach hangout. It's more like a secret sanctuary, tucked away in the jungle and just waiting to be discovered. The main attraction here is the cenote that sits right in the middle of the lagoon, it's crystal clear water practically begging you to come in for a dip. But hold your knickers, my little water babies, because we're not diving in just yet. Oh no, honey, we're going full on spa mode first. See, Laguna de Conlum is famous for its mineral rich mud, which is said to have all sorts of healing and beautifying properties. So grab a handful of that gooey goodness, slather it all over your body, and I do mean all over, and strike a pose. Vacation calories don't count, especially when you're sipping margaritas on the beach all day. But if you want to show off your sexy workout gear, then honey, do I have a treat for you? Jungle Gym! Forget everything you know about gyms because Jungle Gym is like nothing you've ever seen before. Imagine working out in the jungle, surrounded by lush greenery, with ocean waves in the distance. It's like stepping into a fitness fantasy. Located right on the beach, Jungle Gym embraces the natural environment. Equipment made from wood, bamboo, and other sustainable materials. It's the eco-chic way to stay fit and totally Instagram-worthy. But don't let the rustic vibe fool you. This gym means business. They've got everything you need for a killer workout. And the best part? After your workout, you can cool off with a dip in the ocean. Hold on to your tequila shots, my little adventurers, because we're ending this Tulum extravaganza with a bang at Tanka Park. Get your adrenaline pumping, explore ancient ruins, and cool off in crystal clear cenotes all in one day. Located just a short drive from Tulum, Tanka Park offers stunning natural beauty and heart-stopping activities. Zip lines soar through the jungle canopy, hidden cenotes await, and ancient Mayan ruins transport you back in time. Who doesn't love flying through the air like a fabulous jungle bird? Tanka Park's zip lines will have you screaming with delight or terror. Cool off in one of Tanka Park's many beautiful cenotes. Well, my fabulous explorers, that's a wrap on our Tulum adventure. We've cliff jumped into cenotes bluer than my last Tinder date's promises, hiked through jungles wilder than my dating app inbox, and struck poses in art museums that would make even the most jaded art critic gasp. 
Tulum is more than just beaches and tequila shots, baby doll. It's a place where adventure meets luxury, where history collides with modern life, and where you can find your own little slice of paradise no matter what your vibe is. So what are you waiting for? Book that trip, pack your bags, and get ready to experience Tulum like a true Kiki-approved snack that you are. Thanks so much for hanging out with us today. So if you've had fun or learned anything, do us a favor. Like comment, subscribe, share. That stuff really helps out the channel. We really need your help in building our community. We release polls, memes, and fun stuff at 9 a.m. Eastern every day. You can find them on our community tab, a short video at 2.15 p.m. daily, and a longer type video every other day. We'd love to hear from you. Leave us a hello in the comments below. Also, you can check out the super links we have in the description for Savvy Travel Gear to help keep you safe on your next journey. Or if you prefer, you could simply buy me a coffee with the QR code on the screen or with the link in the description below. We are so grateful for your love and support of the channel. Remember to be kind, be gentle with yourself, and know that you are appreciated. Peace.